Whoa, Black Betty, Bamalan. Whoa, Black Betty, Bamalan. Welcome to Pint Size. Today we've got the legendary Beavertown Brewery's Black Betty Black IPA from the Beavertown Brewery in London. We've had Beavertown's Holy Cowbell India Stout on the show before and I thought it was unbeatable. So let's see if Black Betty can make me sing. Firstly, let's remind ourselves of this brilliant brewery, courtesy of Ollie from the past. Beavertown are an awesome brewery. I mean, just look at these beers. 8-Ball, Black Betty, Gamma Ray, Neck Oil, Smog Rocket, Bloody L, Holy Cowbell, Moose Fang, Stinky Bag, Squirrel Foot, Cloudy Egg, Pollen Tractor, Parking Permit, Bubble Bath Hunter, Foxy Bingo? What? The brewery is based in Tottenham Hale in London and gets its name from the old Cockney word for the historic De Beauvoir area. An area famed across Victorian London for its rich characters and infinite revelry. Cue the Kings of Leon. Revelry. No? Can't afford that? Oh well. Even since that video, they've gone from strength to strength, expanding their operation in London and producing stunning collaborations with breweries all across the world. This is one of their core range and was inspired by the classic sweet blackjacks and fruit salads. After all, a black India pale ale I mean, it would have to have some weird inspiration behind it. Their winning IPA formula has been laced with aniseed, tropical Pacific hops, and roasty flavors from German carafe malts. It's 7.5% with five malts and three hops chucked in. Enough bamalaming, let's give this one a try. So here we are, Beaver Town Brewery's Black Betty Black IPA. Oh, that's black. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So there we go, lovely rich dark colour, a little bit of a head on there, very thick sort of milky looking head. Not much carbonation going on, as you saw it was from a can, stunning branding on the Beavertown Brewery cans, love them. This one just looks awesome. Yeah, there's that IPA instant heavy hop smell, tropical fruit, grapefruit. But under all of that there's a bit of sort of biscuity roasted malt, flavour, smell, flavour, smell, flavour, flavour. Oh, no. Oh. Mm. Okay, so hop forward, intense IPA flavour, but on the tongue there's this fizzing, sort of porter, chocolatey roastiness, and it's only there. All around the rest of my mouth is the IPA flavour. It's refreshing but rich. It's dark but so crisp, so flavoursome. Mmm, that's dangerously good. And then to finish you after this fruity, explosive hoppy start, you've got this long, bitter, rich finish that just lingers in your mouth until you take the next sip. Oh. Beaver Town, I've only had their dark beers and they've been just unbeatable in my eyes. I think they're probably one of the best British craft breweries out there, if not up there with the best, if not the best. Mm -hmm. That's truly stunning. If you can find any of the Beaver Town range, to be honest, but if you can find this Black Betty IPA, just do it and drink it and love it, because it is just, that's great. I, that has exceeded any expectations I had of it. That's all for this episode of Pint Size. Thanks for watching. If you're a Snapchat fan, head over to Tastemade Snapchat on Saturday. Just follow them at Tastemade, where I'll be doing a takeover for the day. I'm gonna see if I can find some great pubs in Cambridge and beyond to try some amazing beers and have a bit of fun. So I'll see you there on Snapchat on Saturday. And for other pint size fans, I'll see you on Sunday. Thanks for watching. I don't even know who originally sung the song. Ram Jam? The Jam? Yeah. If the Jam did it, it'd be like. Whoa, Black Betty, Bam and Lamb. Whoa, oh, that's like Michael, Michael Jagger. Their winning IPA formula. Formula? What the fuck? Formula. No, what is it? Formula. A formula? Formula. Four million dollars.